In this video, we're going to look at some ugly looking problems that are going to require us to solve by factoring. We know when we solve by factoring, we need to make the equation equal 0, factor, and then set each factor equal to 0. However, before we make the equation equal to 0, we may have to simplify a bit first. In other words, if we had a problem like 2x times x plus 4 equals 3x times x minus 3, we can't really make it equal to 0 yet because of the multiplication on the left side. So we have to do a little simplifying. We're going to distribute the 2x through the problem. That's going to give us 2x squared plus 8x equals 3x minus 3. Now we're ready to move terms around either to the left side or the right side. We like x squared to be positive and it already is positive. So we're going to leave x squared there and we'll move the 3x minus 3 to the other side. Get rid of the 3x with subtracting 3x from both sides. Add 3 to both sides and we get 2x squared. Combining like terms, 8x minus 3x is 5x plus 3 and we're equal to 0. Don't forget the equals 0. That's very important. You cannot solve for x if it does not equal 0. Now we're ready to try and factor this guy. First times first equals first. The only way to get 2x squared is 2x times x. Last times last equals last. The only way to get 3 is either 3 times 1 or 1 times 3. Try 3 times 1. If that doesn't work, we'll switch them. So let's do a little testing here. 2x times 1 is 2x. 3 times x is 3x. Yeah, if those are both positive, it does equal the 5x in the middle. So that did work. We don't have to switch them. Now that it's factored, we know we can solve by setting each factor equal to 0. Either the 2x plus 3 equals 0 or the x plus 1 equals 0. And then we just have to solve each of those equations. Subtract 3 from both sides, we get 2x equals negative 3. Divide by 2, we get x equals negative 3 halves for our first solution. The other equation, we just have to subtract 1 from to get x equals negative 1. And so we have our solutions that x equals negative 3 halves or x equals negative 1. Let's look at another example. This one looks pretty involved. 2x minus 3 times 3x plus 1 equals negative 8x minus 1. Again, if we're solving by factor and we want to make it equal to 0, but before we do that, we have to do a little cleanup work. On the left side, we have to multiply out everything here because it's not any use to us to be factored if it doesn't equal 0. So let's multiply this out. 2x times 3x is 6x squared. Let me move that down a line. 6x squared. 2x times 1 is 2x. Negative 9x and negative 3 equals negative 8x minus 1. Well, we can combine some like terms there, so let's do that. 6x squared minus 7x, 2 minus 9, minus 3 equals negative 8x minus 1. Now we want it to equal 0. We like x squared to be positive. It already is positive, so uh, let's move the stuff on the right over to the left by adding 8x to both sides. Lining up like terms, adding 1 to both sides, and that's going to give us 6x squared plus x minus 2 equals 0. Now we're ready to factor. We simplified first, we made it equal to 0, now we're going to factor. First times first equals first. 6x squared, let's go with 3x times 2x. It might be 6 times 1, we'll try that if this doesn't work. 
Uh, the last times last equals last, so 1 times 2 equals 2, but you might notice there's a GCF over there on the right side. We don't like that. Both of those were divisible by 2, so let's switch the order, 2 times 1. Well, let's see, we got 3x on the outside, 2 times 2 is 4x on the inside. Can we get a positive 1x? Yes, if the outside negative 3 plus 4 is 1. So outside's negative, inside is positive. We have now factored the 3x plus 2 times 2x minus 1. Once it's factored, we can set both factors equal to 0. So that means we have 3x plus 2 equals 0 and 2x minus 1 equals 0. Solve the first equation by subtracting 2, 3x equals negative 2. Divide by 3 and x is equal to negative 2 thirds. Solve the second equation by adding 1 to both sides, 2x equals 1. Divide by 2 and x is equal to 1 half. And we've got our solutions. Solving equations by factoring, we simplify first, make the equation equal to 0, factor, and set each factor equal to 0.